so some of the terminology that uh, you know we'll we'll be starting with so before we uh, begin with the terminology so uh, let me uh, first tell you what time series forecasting is all about well um, we might have already heard about forecasting in other type of econometric models like you know regression models uh, and so on right there also you do forecasting now a question obvious question that comes to mind that why another type of forecasting why we need to use time series forecasting when we have multivariate forecasting like regression right so what happens in regression you have a y then you use some sort of x to forecast y right that's uh, the multivariate regression now in number of cases your x or the independent variables or the covariates or the factors uh, whatever you call it are not available all the time okay and even if it's available many times there are restriction you cannot use these variables in order to do the forecasting all right many a times you will you will come up with scenario where you only have the y values and y values for different time periods okay from different time periods okay and you do not have any x or you actually don't know what are the factors or 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 the, uh, or the uh, variables which are related to your y right so in such scenario where you only have your uh, single variable uh, or the dependent variable or the variable of interest uh, values are available you don't have any covariates available uh then you go for what is known as the time series forecasting because you have only one variable in place right time series forecasting so what you do is that you simply plot the trend of that variable and see what is the pattern in that variable y right over over time okay so over time you simply see the pattern and based on the pattern historical pattern uh you simply uh, you know extrapolate to the future extra, extrapolate to the future right so in normal regression we used to take uh, the independent variables to do forecasting y whereas in time series regression you will use say yt equal to yt minus 1 plus some error okay okay so this will be one simple form of model okay we call this uh, ar model we'll talk we'll 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 talk about it later so here you do not use an independent variable you uh, or maybe you can you can say that you are using it um but you don't use a different independent variable you use independent variable uh, uh, as the uh, i mean the past value of dependent variable as the independent variable so here is the variable yt and then we are using yt minus 1 that you are forecasting the value of y from its past values right so previous value of y gives the future value of y right and of course the error term so this is one way of doing time series forecasting so you only have one variable in place that's why we call it as univariate time series because we only use one variable univariate time series so in this case we do not have uh, the you know the concept of dependent variable where y is considered as dependent variable and then there are so many independent variable uh, x1 x2 and so on so that is used primarily in multivariate analysis like regression whereas in time series univariate time series in particular you only have one variable in place and that's that's what you use for forecasting okay all right so what is a time series well a time series is a type of series series of data or series set of observations uh, on a particular value okay uh, and which is taken at different time frame and one of the best example is stock price right stock price for last 30 days right so you have stock price of the same stock for different time periods right so that's one example of time series data so such data may be collected at regular time intervals now this is important regular time interval that means the interval between the time periods you know we have given t1 t2 and so on the interval that means t2 minus t1 which is the interval should be exactly same t2 minus t1 should be exactly same as t3 minus t2 
the interval should be exactly same that means either it should be monthly uh, weekly or quarterly or annually right the interval should be same it should be one year one month you know three months one week uh, daily basis 24 hours it, but it has to be same you cannot have you know uh, a difference of one day and then difference of three day that's not time series data okay so so time series data time series data can be used uh, and it is actually used a lot in statistic econometrics mathematical finance for different types of uh, applications uh, for example weather forecasting uh, whether there will be earthquake by geologists and uh, financial forecasting like you know loss financial loss and so on so these are some of the things which are also uh, useful uh, time series analysis is very useful in these areas. So, univariate time series is uh, something that I've already uh, uh, told you. So, univariate time series are uh, uh, you know type of series where you only have a single observations uh, which is uh, recorded over a regular uh, time intervals, right? Like we said, stock price, right? Stock price, so stock price in period one, stock price in period two, period three. And up to period n, where there are n periods. And uh, you do not have any other variable, only stock price or only stock returns. You know, one of these variables. Okay, you don't have any other variable. All right. When you're talking about uh, time series, let's do a brief recap of what is a cross-section data. So cross-section data is a data where you use number of variables at a one time point, right? Remember, we're talking about a number of variables at one time point. In time series, we had one variable at number of time points. It's exactly the reverse. One, one time point and different, you know, variables, right? So say, for example, you're talking about an individual form, right? Uh, or a form, a, a company, right? So you are talking about uh, you're talking about uh, what happens uh, what happens to this firm in 2011, right? So that's the area of study. So you collected uh, the number of uh, employee, the revenue, uh, the uh, total. Uh, uh, profit of the company so these are one of the these are like the variables right and you collect all these things for one time period that is 2011 right this is called the cross section data multiple variables one time period whereas in time series you have one variable and multiple time period if you take only profit Profit in 2011, profit in 2012, profit in 2013, then you call this as time series data. So this is how time series data is different from cross-sectional data. So we use the multivariate statistics or regression in cross-sectional data, whereas in time series data, you will use the univariate time series uh, modeling. 